Today we are going thrifting. I'm so excited to go. I haven't gone since 2016, 2017. I did not know what I was doing back then and I don't know what I'm doing now, which means I'm an amateur at best. So I'm super excited to take you guys along thrifting with me. I'm gonna do a little vlog and hopefully a successful haul at the end. I did my research, believe it or not, and I found a couple of really cool sounding vintage stores, which is pretty much like thrifting except more curated. So I'm very excited to check these places out. Never heard of them, never have gone to them before, but we're gonna go together, check it out. It's gonna be a little date. My thrifting outfit of the day. We've got this top, it's from Maritzia. I changed because it was far too hot to wear that shirt. These cute ruffle top jeans from Urban Outfitters and this small little baguette bag is also from Urban Outfitters. That is my look to go thrifting slash vintage shopping. So let's go. So we are at our first location. This place is called The Vintage. I've never been here, but it looks really, really cute. So let's go inside. Collar is so cute. Look at this jewelry box. That is beautiful. She said it's made in Italy. It's so cute. They have all these cute little Hawaiian style things. I love this section. So cute. This is so cool. Yes. Like a little. This yes. is so cute. I love that idea, yes. This that is such is a cute such beach a, bag. Oh, yeah. Wait, these are so cool. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. They're all like vintage. That's so awesome. That was so successful. So my mom and I both picked up some things. I will show you guys in the haul at the end, but it was a very good start. I'm so excited. Yeah, that was so much fun. Done with thrift store number one. That was more of a vintage store. It was pretty curated. It was so neat in there though. Vintage stores are a little bit pricier, so you're not gonna get thrift store prices. I got my mom something. We'll show what you got first. I'll show okay, what I'm I gonna, got at I'm the end. I'm gonna actually put it on. They have the cutest little jewelry section. And she found this little set. I know, it's all glass. I love glass. Glass, glass beads. red beads. That's so pretty. Here, I know. your wrist. Yeah, I don't have anything this color. Yeah, you don't really wear bracelets either. Wow! Ah. That looks so cute! I think the next place we're gonna go to is in town, so it's gonna be a bit of a drive. My spirits are high because this first place was so, so good. So let's get driving. So we're actually at North Shore right now, not town, because I found one that is here, so we don't have to drive all the way to town. This place is called Green Gypsy, and we're gonna see if there's anything good. So that one, it's called a thrift store. So they don't label themselves as a vintage store. So it's more thrift stuff, but they also sell some newer things. So got a couple of items. So excited. I think we're ready to go home. Yeah? 
another mom haul. She got these coasters. Cute. Yes, I love them. Wow, good pick. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> This is my thrift haul. It was very successful, if I do say so myself. To be honest, I wasn't expecting it to go as well as it did, but that was so, so much fun. And now that I had that experience, I feel like I wanna do it so much more often because you can find really unique and cool stuff that are cool and different. So that was a very enjoyable experience. I will show you guys what I got from the first place that we went to, which was called The Vintage. It's non-profit, so everything that they make from whatever is bought goes to charity, which is so, so cool. That makes me feel really really good and I got some really great stuff first thing if you guys know me you know that I've been loving head scarves and basically just these little pieces of cloth that you can put in your hair or you can tie around like your ponytail but I also kind of figured out recently that I can roll it up and you know accessorize it on my bags or put it through a belt loop which I have really liked to do recently so this one looks like this it's pretty sheer pretty flower pattern in this blue color and I just thought it was really really pretty so I was stoked when I found this because I know I'm gonna get really good use out of this I was so happily shocked by their array of aloha shirts the one that i found i'm so obsessed with this is what it looks like it's basically a dad shirt it's a dad aloha shirt except this is legit i'm so excited so how i was thinking about styling this is just wearing this like over a bathing suit or something i think that'd be super super cool and the print is just very nice and what i loved about this and what i noticed first is that it was so soft so i looked at what the material was and this is 100 percent silk this will be a really fun little cover-up for my swimsuits and stuff. Or like tucked into some shorts, some jeans, call it a day. That was a great find. This store had quite an array of different bags to choose from. They even had some Kate Spade bags and there was a bunch. But this one really, really caught my eye. Um, it's this woven one in this circle shape, which is so cool. I thought this would be a the cutest little beach bag. You can kind of feel that material. It's very light and it's got a bunch of room inside for all of your beach needs. So this was just kind of perfect. I'm always at the beach and I love a good beach bag. So this one's very cute. It's usually the beach bags that I use are like canvas totes, which I love, but I thought this would be fun to spice it up sometimes. Okay, I didn't really go to this place expecting to find room decor, but that's what we did and that's what was found very happy about it she wrapped them all very nicely i'll show you guys one of them it's these glass little plates and i've been looking for little containers like this for my jewelry or other little knickknacks i have around my room and this one is perfect so it's pretty clear it has a pink little tint to it and i just thought it was a perfect size little dish to put some jewelry in or other little things um, and this came in a set of four, very affordable, and it'll act as a super cute decoration and also organizational little thing. So that was really exciting. Oh, I hope that didn't break. Huh. Uh, hi. <laughs> We're good. You guys saw in the clips, it had this little bookcase of Hawaiian style things, which I thought was so cool. There's so many vintage Hawaiian prints and there was this like cute little book about the spirit of aloha or the aloha spirit So it was a really cute section and they had so many cute little things this one that I found It's the shape of the big island and it just says Hawaii right there It's actually a little coin thing. So you would put coins in here the back is open So I don't think it came with the little topper. However, this is still cute I wasn't even planning to use it for coins just kind of as like a decoration plus this matches my room So I was very happy about this. It'll be so so cute. Oh my goodness So speaking of jewelry organizers, I've always wanted a really nice little jewelry box and let me tell you They had such the array, but this one really caught my eye. This is made in Italy The lady said this is a collectible item and the quality is so so good. This is what it looks like it's got this little rose print on it and then just opens up and put your jewelry in there or whatever you want I guess but that's what I'll use it for and I just thought this was so pretty and like delicate looking and I just thought this would be a really beautiful decoration to put in my room so I'm very very excited about this and what I love is that I feel like I wouldn't find something like that at a normal store I feel like when I move out one day I'm gonna want to go to vintage stores because you can get really cute and unique and cool pieces so yes and then the last thing that I got from the store 
was also in that little Hawaiian section that they had. Um, and it's this little make-believe license plate that just says Surfing Hawaii. So I thought this was really cool. You guys can obviously see the theme of my room. So I thought this would be cool maybe to put above my desk or just somewhere around my room. I don't know. I thought this was really cool. Kind of random, but I just thought I'd pick it up because it was pretty cheap. So that is it. That is everything from the vintage. I have so many good finds there. That's definitely some place that I would go back to 100%. The second and the last place that we went to for the day was Green Gypsy Thrift Shop. So this one was a thrift shop. It wasn't like a vintage shop and it was super, super cool. It was on the North Shore. So the first thing that I had picked up from there, this really caught my eye. They had so many different prints, but I thought this one was really, really nice. Can wrap it around, obviously. Use it as a little beach blanket or something to sit on. This is pretty multi-purpose and I just think this was so pretty. I really, really liked the colors. This was a really, really good find. I didn't find anything in the women's section, but I've watched enough thrift videos to know that you have to check, not the kids section, I will not fit the kids section, but the other sections, like the men's sections. So that's exactly what I did. I really did take notes on these thrift videos before I went. The only thing that really caught my eye, I didn't want to get random things just to do a haul, but I really, really liked this. Pretty plain, pretty simple, it's just a big t-shirt, and can you guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to crop it. What else would I do, you know? I just feel like this is kind of an awkward length for me. That was the only clothing piece that I got. And the last thing, to finish up this haul, I had already checked out, and then my mom was checking out because she got those little coasters. I turned around, and there were these adorable little visors but woven ones and i was like i need you so i looked at the tags and it said that it was brand new made in bali so that thrift store was really interesting she said they have mostly thrift stuff that is like secondhand and then they also have a few newer things so this is what i got look how adorable this is i've always wanted something like this but i just have never found anywhere that sells it and i see so many girls that have this type of cute little woven visor and i was like i want that and now I got it. <laughs> they had this in a lighter color as well, but that didn't fit my head. So you best believe your girl got the biggest size that they had. Even though it's still a little bit tight, it will be worth it. This is what it looks like on. You can't tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. Sun protection aside, this is a very cute little fashion piece and it'll also be nice when I want to shade my skin from the sun. And I just thought this is so adorable and I have nothing like this, so this is very, very exciting. It was a great way to wrap up my whole thrift experience. Those are all the pieces that I got. I'm so excited to use them, decorate my room a little bit, and have some new pieces that are one of a kind. Thank you guys so much for coming thrifting with me. If you guys stayed to this point in the video, comment down below. Star emojis, because why not? If you're not, I would love it if you subscribe. You have a wonderful little family on here. And if you don't follow my Instagram, it's at AvaJules underscore. It's a very good time on there. I feel like I've been super, super active on there. And that's one of my favorite ways to talk to you guys in the comments and in my DMs. Thank you for watching. I am sweating. I'm gonna pop these in the washer and call it a day. That's my highlighter. <laughs> Peace out. Love you. <laughs>